put these talks into context, I'm joined by Trita Parsi in Lausanne. He's an expert on Iranian-American relations and founder of the National Iranian-American Council. Trita, let me get straight to the point. Are these negotiations falling apart? No, they're not. Uh, in 2013, in Geneva, when they first signed the Joint Plan of Action, it was like this until the very last moment. They actually went two days over the deadline, and then there wasn't an agreement until 2 a.m. in the morning. And 15 minutes before they actually reached the deal, most of the people thought that it was a lost cause. So I'm not surprised that at the end of this negotiation, it's going to look like this. It did so the last time as well. It's not a guarantee that it will work, nor is it a guarantee that it will not work. So clearly, this has been a painstaking process. What exactly is the holdup? And if the issues are something they haven't been able to resolve in the last 18 months, what makes us believe they're going to be able to do it in the next couple of hours? Because the negotiations is not a linear process. Uh, it has spurs, it has moments in which a lot of progress is made, and it has long uh, moments in which very little progress is made. It's not linear. Um, and uh, the thing that are holding it up right now is, I think, from the Iranian side, there is a sense that they have largely agreed to most of the American and Western demands. What they have not agreed to it is what is offered to them in turn. And this is where, where things are getting very problematic, because the Iranians are asking for an, the UN sanctions to be lifted. And that might be a very difficult political thing for the Obama administration to do, because they have earlier said that they're not going to lift any sanctions up front. And Trita, very quickly, how much of this do you think is about trust, or I should say mistrust, between the United States and Iran? That is, throughout this process, been something that has been hanging over everyone. The, the two sides don't have much trust for each other. And there's been some trust that has been built over the course of the last year and a half. But the issue is that, ultimately, they're not going to be trusting each other. They're going to be trusting the verification and implementation process and mechanisms of the deal. It's the deal that they're going to have to trust, not each other. It would be too much for them at this point to actually put the trust into each other.